dance make me who I am. Like it makes me happy. It makes me sad and all. It's, it's just. It just touches me. It's a way to express yourself and show your creativity and show what you can do. Try new dances you've never done before. That's what's so fun. That I just like dancing. And West African is about the most intimidating dance form that I teach. They learn to love it. At first it's like, oh my god, what is she doing? Her arms are moving her. We gotta sing and move our feet and everything at the same time. So just they're completely freaked out when they initially learn a new dance like we did today. They were introduced to Kaki Lambe and Lamba today for the first time. Hearing about the past is really exciting because you get to learn the origin of it and why that is the Pacific move and why it goes with it. Because traditionally in Africa, if you had ailments, if you had psychological issues, if you had any issues like that, you wouldn't go to the doctor. You would go to what we call today a shaman. Kakilambe is the dance of the shaman, the dance of the spiritual healer. Um, so this dance would be done, you would see them like maybe mixing the herbs or cleaning the space with sage or incense, uh, just a spiritual healing for the community. A lot of the steps that you see inside of West African dance, you'll find on the street. That is where hip hop's, where the, the roots of hip hop have come from. So a lot of the steps come naturally, naturally to them because it's already in their bodies. Switching the feet mostly is really hard for me. It was because anytime I tried to do it, this, my left foot wouldn't hit the ground, but my right foot would and I felt like I was doing it wrong. But I think like towards the end of the dance, I was getting it right. The drum is the thing that throws them off a little bit. They gotta remember the rhythm, they gotta remember the break, they gotta remember you know, the opposition of the feet, they gotta remember all of these different things. So that kind of makes them nervous, but once they get used to what the rhythm is and where the drum is, where the, where the break falls, then they fall right into place. I mean left back, then right foot front, and left foot back. They start in sixth grade, they work their way up to 12, and a lot of them go on to college to major in dance or minor in dance. I always tell them that I'm not here to train dancers, I'm here to train people that are disciplined, people that start what they finish, people that have certain goals that they work toward and don't give up so easily. That's what dance is about, that's the discipline of the arts. I always wanted to be a dancer. At one point I thought I couldn't do it, but mom was like, you can do it. And when I went to Connections and I was like, Oh, they have dance, I'm gonna try dance. And that actually made me happy. Yeah, that's, that's what motivates me to come to school every day. Like, I, like the work is hard, but this kind of like a break, even though you're still working hard, it's like a break for me.